Hi parents, hope you're doing well today. Just a brief video to ask you a question. Why should my student get college credits? It's not uh, totally obvious that they should, especially when I say while in high school or while in college. Of course, in college, they should get college credits. So of course, we're probably talking about summer or times when they're free, but why college credits is what this video is all about, okay? So who should want college credits? I just implied that a moment ago. It should be high school students, most high school students. In fact, it may not be all. I mean, if you're an athlete and you're taking uh, a sport that you're preparing in the summer and you're busy all day, uh, clearly like football, for example, I don't think you should can take courses in college while you're in high school. There's just no time for that. And your sport, if it's year round and you're working out in the summer, especially after coming out of the pandemic where students feel they've lost a year of sports. They're just not gonna to wanna to do that. And parents, I'm not for forcing them at all. Um, I know you might feel that some things are more important than sports, but I feel students got a lot of no answers during the pandemic that I don't think it's good for them to hear right now, unless there's a really uh, great reason for that parents. Uh, also artists too, some artists are just too busy uh, to do college credits while in high school or other things like SAT prep, I should say too. But most high school students should want college credits while in high school, it's so smart. I'll show you why in just a moment. Uh, continuing college students should of course take summer classes uh, while they're in college to, to for reasons I'll show you. It's very obvious the reasons why, uh, but I'll go over those with you and show you oh, how it helps you to finish college in four years. People say, well, they have a four-year plan, but most students will not finish in four years. I think, I think it's only about 29 to 30%. On my program, it's always higher. And this is one of the reasons why I'm always innovating and pushing students to take classes, for just making it more convenient to take classes in college in summer by having it in our program with Trade Tech, our partner that's shown right there above, okay? All right, so, so I think college students should also take uh, one college credit. Let's go a little more detailed, more into that, if you will. Let's take a look at this situation here where a student has taken high school credits, uh, college credits while in high school. I'm calling them high school credits, but they're really college credits while they're in high school. So they go over high school credits and college credits. Let's say the student gets 12 credits or takes four classes while they're in high school and then just takes their minimum load each year of 24. The minimum, the minimum credits per semester is 12. So 24 to keep satisfactory progress. They take six credits in each summer, they'll graduate because the average amount of credits needed for graduation is 125 credits in that 121 to 130, 128 window. So I say 125, this student would graduate. By the way, without a lot of risk, I just don't see students when they're taking four classes a year in college, they're not stopping out. They're not having academic trouble. And they're having a good, balanced, safe, and fun time in, high, in college where they should be growing in and out of the classroom and learning about themselves. There's even room here in this plan if they change their major to pulse up to 30 credits and still switch over and make it in four years which I think is supposed to be the goal, all right? Even if they just take six credits, sure, 27, 30, 30. I mean, this is 15 credits a semester. Yeah, it's getting a little heavy. It's a little bit of risk there that you could fail a class or do poorly in a class and have to take it over. But then you're down to 24 credits the last year and you make the 26, all right? That's what's just six. Many of you see in this video, they already have college credits while in high school. I'm just proposing that you add to it or if it's your first summer, you still substantially improve your situation. But how about the student that takes no credits while in high school? Like I described, athletes and artists, they can still in the summers take some credits, but look how many credits they're having to take in college now. You know, 16 and 17 and 15 credits per semester. You know, it, it makes it a little more risky to finish 
and they'll really get a break even to here. You have 13 average per semester, and you'll have 126. Now, now in this last group is where I get students who take five, sometimes even six years. And the reason that happens, uh, by the way, I will say this, 85% of our students finish in five years, but I have a few that take longer and even longer than the four to go to the fifth year because they run into academic problems. I mean, if you're taking this many courses, there's more chances to run into problems and thereby extending it past four, past four years. But taking classes while you're in college, in high school or college, really takes away your risk of not finishing college in four years uh, or running into some other kind of academic difficulty. What are some other reasons for high school students to take college classes? Well, it lowers the cost of four-year college. Well, there's two ways it does that. By ensuring they finish in four years and avoiding the fifth year is lowering the cost. But also, uh, but also you could finish in less than four years. That would lower the cost. There's a chance of doing that with it. In fact, many of my students who take, who go to college with four classes already, go on the path that I showed you, they finish early. They just simply go ahead and take the 30 credits because they build up the discipline and the ability to take a lot of credits. They regularly finish in under four years. I have many of my students have done that. The other way you reduce the cost even in four years is you're taking more classes from a two-year college. And a lot of colleges charge you more for the credits above 12 credit hours. They start charging you per credit and it's very expensive. And that's what, what leads you into loans and things like that. Your loans being higher and your indebtedness being higher as a parent. So it lowers the cost of four-year college. It gets students the valuable experience and how to speak with and work with college professors. Uh, there's nothing like a uh, two-year college to teach them because those are college professors. Now, a lot of you feel that two-year colleges aren't really colleges, but a college like Trade Tech is still a college. It's still a college, right? Um, where they have professors and failing a class at Trade Tech has the same consequences of failing a four-year college class. Look at it that way. So don't discount that at all. Even though our classes are online, failing those classes could have the same consequences if you're trying to finish early, you have a schedule you're on. So it's still college. Uh, it's a great alternative to AP classes. My goodness, when I read applications for other schools, I, I'm reminded of that. Uh, you're, that's the best way to tell a selective private college or selective state school that you're ready for college by how you did in college classes. AP classes are artificial because you still have to take a test to get the credit. Whereas if you take a class from Trade Tech, one of our classes, right? Uh, you don't have to take a, a, a test to see if you, know, you get the credit. You take the class, you pass the regular test and you have the credit. There's no, nothing like that. And also AP classes tend to be research oriented classes where the student is teaching themselves. Whereas in two year college, you will have a teacher who will teach you how to teach, teach you how to learn, excuse me, and show you how to learn the material and show you how to think about your material in ways that an AP class doesn't do. Then finally, it builds confidence in learning. I mean, what better way to build confidence by doing well on a college class while in high school? You begin to get better grades in your high school classes because you build a tremendous amount of confidence. All right, please get in touch with me if you have any further questions on this. But before I go, I do want to show you how to register uh, for the classes, okay? Uh, let's see here. Uh, our website, you can start thinking about that now, is www.westa-eep.org. When you go there, you move your cursor along the top and you'll see programs here. You click on Trade Tech Summer Courses. There it is, our free summer classes for college. We don't charge any fee. We just ask for a donation if you have it of $20 to cover our documenting expense, documenting expenses and our administrative costs of helping your student to register for the classes. Uh, we've partnered with Trade Tech College. Those are the, that's Trade Tech College behind us, one of their big new buildings on the campus. I think that's their administrative building, okay. And here are the four classes, Art 101, History 12, Communication 101, Anthropology 101. But we have descriptions of these classes that we'll be posting shortly. But beyond that, and most importantly, in our orientation, we fully describe those courses. So you wanna do that, how you get in the orientation where you scroll all the way down 
and you fill out this interest form or if you click here, you get to the same form, right? Scroll for enrollment form. You still get the same form when you scroll down, right? And there it is. All right, we just included it on the bottom of the page. Uh, the summer 2021 interest form, there it is. Fill in everything on the form and we'll get in touch with you. Or Christina Martinez, who's my project leader, will get in touch with you. If you have any questions, you can reach her at cmartinez.eep at gmail.com. cmartinez.eep at gmail.com. Just run the video back and you can hear it again and again and again. Uh, so fill out this form, click submit, and we'll get the form in the office. We'll be in touch with you to get your student involved in the class. Parents, I hope that helps. Let's keep these students busy. I mean, you can put them in one of our summer uh, bridge program classes that are not for credit, and we can strengthen them in their classroom, their study skills. I'll do a video on that real soon. Let's keep these students really engaged and really busy this summer. So preparing for a wonderful year next year and an affordable, great college. God bless you, parents. Bye-bye now.